With driverless cars on the horizon, there's renewed interest in a classic ethical dilemma, the trolley problem. What decision would you make? You spot a trolley barreling down the tracks towards five workers. There's a lever you can pull to switch the trolley over to another track, but there's a worker on this track as well. You quickly assess, and other than the lever, there are no other feasible options. It is either one life or five lives. Do you pull the lever? I'll give you a few seconds to decide. Ready? 90%. Nine out of 10 people when presented with this scenario said they would pull the lever, sacrificing one to say fine. It is a utilitarian approach. With 90% pulling the lever, this seems to resolve our ethical dilemma. Or does it? Now things start to get tricky. We make a small adjustment to your dilemma. This time, instead of a lever used to divert the trolley to another track, you are standing on a footbridge that the trolley will pass under. There's a rather large man standing close to you, and as with the original scenario, there are five people on the track. You quickly assess that the only way to stop the trolley from killing the five is to push the large man off the bridge. As with the first scenario, you are faced with a one or five choice. What do you do? Once again, I'll give you a few seconds to decide. Ready? 10%. Only 1 in 10 people would push the man off the bridge. This result has been at the heart of what has puzzled philosophers and researchers for decades. Why is there such a huge disparity between how people react to the two scenarios? Maybe ethical dilemmas are not so utilitarian after all. While both scenarios are about exchanging one life to save five, people do not see them as being ethically equivalent. It is okay to pull a lever, it is not okay to push the man. To be fair, there's some criticism of using the trolley problem as a method to discuss ethics. One of the main criticisms is that the quote, fat man variant is not very realistic. Regardless, there are so many variations of the trolley problem that have been repeated across hundreds of experiments that there's little doubt that ethics is not simply a utilitarian choice. Studies that have focused on gender, race, disabilities, or other differences have confirmed time and again that ethical dilemmas are a sticky subject. This brings us to the modern version of the trolley problem, along with some real-world implications. Driverless cars, drones, and other forms of automated transportation are quickly becoming a reality. While driverless cars would save more lives and reduce injuries, how might your car be programmed to resolve an ethical dilemma? This was the subject of a series of five experiments published in a 2016 study. Are you okay with a car being programmed to veer into a wall or off a bridge to save a group of pedestrians? While results confirm that similar to the trolley problem, a large percentage of people are okay with a utilitarian program that sacrifices one to save the money, things change when it is a family member in the car. Of equal interest, is that while people are okay with cars being programmed this way, they would be reluctant to actually buy such a car. To end, I want to ask you a couple of questions. Would it be ethical to program the car differently depending on the passenger? Would say the airplane, car, or other transportation used by a world leader have the same program as you or I? What about a world-renowned scientist working on a cure for cancer? How will it be decided which passengers or vehicles are provided which programs?